Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I know there's a couple purple coins I missed on a ledge that I seen on the back of one of the buildings in the footage, but we're gonna come back here eventually. Please understand that. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, 210 moons so far. <laughs> And off to the next kingdom we go. We most certainly will be back for 100% later. But uh oh, uh oh, we put a proverbial fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser Bowser went to? And like before, I'm gonna choose the upper portion, which is the Snow Kingdom. I'm just gonna kind of show you both sides of the story. The Snow Kingdom, a splendid idea. All right, you know we're gonna have to go with both e either way. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stop the charade, it doesn't matter which one you pick, you're going to both anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's see what tips he's got on her way. Well, well, maybe not really tips, but <laughs> at this point I think we've got all the controls, but he'll also have some stuff regarding like the the locals and temperature maybe <laughs> you know what I mean talking about the world what an amazingly energetic festival let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase seeing as how you got some time to kill let's review some useful skills of course the quick swim oh yeah I didn't actually teach this so this is actually new <laughs> what you do is you do like you're gonna dive in midair you know when you're doing the ground pound and then, yeah but it's underwater. Well, there it is. I didn't really need that at the Lake Kingdom because it was mostly vertical, but details. Let's check out the Snow Kingdom next. <laughs> it looks cold. Who would have guessed that the name's snow in it? And it sounds like the races in town are quite popular. And the prize is a tree fro frost frosted cake? Okay, that's a multi-layered cake. I know, I know. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. A cake. For perhaps a wedding? Chances are Bowser's been here. <laughs> or at least his minions have. Alright. Well, this doesn't, uh... Wow. This is, uh, how are we gonna see our way around here anyway? Hmm. Hmm. Well. Well, the first thing we should do... <laughs> it's not dilly dally. First thing we should do is kind of follow the path because that'll lead us to where we need to go and stuff. You can break the ice and whatnot, but then you sort of kind of end up at an impasse until you look down here. You go down there. Don't jump in the water or anything like that. The water will harm you. And yes, Mario is getting frosted over. <laughs> Don't worry though, you won't take snow damage. You can't take water damage though from it being so dang chilly, however, so yeah, that's why I say avoid, avoid the water around here. Just go around, have a good time, and look for that mark on the ground that you've seen there. Uh, you might have seen some regional coins over the edge there down by the water. They are snowflakes. Let's get two of them right off the bat here. 50, so you know it's a smaller kingdom. Above the ice well. The ice well. What the poop is an ice well? Wait, do you hear something under the snow? I do not. <laughs> but you can walk right through the snow and clear it all up if you'd like to. But if you go right in the center. Uh huh. Well, you can actually just walk around the edges and you see it. Yeah, there is indeed. Um, oh, ice well. I, 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 I guess. Yeah, I am seeing what's under the snow, aren't you? Oh. <laughs> Aren't you watching here? You're on top of my head, of course. There we go. <laughs> I just like how I just boop right in. Alright, so let's go in. Other stuff is kinda hard to see at this moment in time for obvious reasons, so let's focus on the storyline here. Meet the Shiverians! Oh, you scared us! Welcome to Shiveria! We're all just a little on edge right now. Let me guess. Bowser. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Hmm. Poochie's got something to say to us regarding that tree root thingy there. So let's take a picture. And I figured out what was the, the missing sound there. It's when you turn notification sounds off. I didn't know that counted as a notification sound. I turned that off in case of like download sounds. You know how things like the update in the background and stuff like that. I am not leaving yet. 
<laughs> but yeah, I, I figured that would be nicer to do that ahead of time in case of said updates, but maybe not. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, there's a moon. I ruined the boxes. Well, the boxes were normally the the way to get up there, so I should probably... I probably should actually leave for realsies, because yeah, yeah, I, I flubbed that up. <laughs> <laughs> totally forgot about that. I'm just so used to destroying everything I see the moment I see it. Don't worry, guys, it's just me again. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, this is a really weird thing. It's a coin stack. They're all just, like, stuck to each other. <laughs> it's even weirder than the coin stationary stacks. <laughs> Alright, so don't mess up this time, PK Gam. There we go. It's a lot easier when you don't... You don't destroy things willy-nilly, eh? <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> Just smush only half the boxes I wanted to. No, I'm not going. We're going on forward this time. Crazy Cap Shop. I guess I could buy a moon from there. That Bowser monster ruined everything. He was here! No cake and no racing. No fun. For souvenirs, they're in the right place! Alright! I'm gonna get myself a moon. And maybe buy out the coinages. Like the gold coinages. Thank you! Uh, got anything else besides that? No? no? Okay, I guess I'll just buy this and go, because I'll <laughs> I need purple coins for the rest of the stuff, so. Those have gotta wait. Shopping in in Shiveria. Woo! Okie dokie. Well, I could actually see your dialogue. Welcome. Nope, same dialogue. So yeah, he's got some snow gear that'll make him a little bit warmer, but it's kinda kinda pricey to get the full set for my current six purple coins. <laughs> <laughs> um, that could probably be arranged some way. <laughs> Alright, so this is the main dealio that's going on here. That Bowser monster stole our racing prize! The cake frost- frosted cake! As if that weren't bad enough, he blocked the entrance to our race course! We need moon power moots to get back in! Oh no! So how do we get that? Racing keeps my heart warm, please open the door! <laughs> Bring Moon Power Moons back fast, please! If there's anything sadder than a racer without a race course. Maybe, maybe not. I miss the race course. Oh! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there's four doors, and you, you, can, you can pretty much guess that. Oh no! That is not good! Well. We gotta do something about this, so let's start by going... Well, I guess I could talk to the talker to later, but... Yeah, you can talk to that, but... You know, let's go down the doors first, shall we? It seems like a, seems like a good idea. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! This, this does not look very friendly from the outside. I, I'm leaving! I'm leaving! No, I'm just kidding. The... <laughs> So, the Windchill Cavern here has a new enemy known as Taifu, and it will happily blow you into the poison. So, let's not let that happen, and you can actually take over its body by, yeah, but can't kind of get any height. So, this particular one is stuck. <laughs> That's okay, though, because we can just continue along the path and bump spinies into the poison ourselves. No... Big deal. Now you're gonna see something here. What is? What is? What the poof? Does he? There appears to be a, a box blowing battle going on here. What the? Uh, e, uh, Aha! I win. You have met your match. No, no, no. E. So you sort of met your match. <laughs> okay, but the objective really is to blow that out of here. And yeah, you can get coins the other way around. But. I want to get up to that X on top of the arch. I think you can guess what X marks the spot, assuming that you can get- Ah, jeez, I want to do like a double jump and then a hat flipper. <laughs> like a hat- I mean a hat dive thing. Hmm. Might have pushed this too far. <laughs> eh, let me push! No, it, should, it should be fine, actually. Uh, let's see if I can do like a diagonal jump. One, two, boom. Yeah, like that. Oh, no, 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 too far, too far, no, no, too far, too far, too north. <laughs> Alright, atop a blustery arch, completed. And yeah, we're almost done with this area, actually. It's not very large. As a matter of fact, 
none of these areas are particularly large. But don't forget about the purple coins you might have seen over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's something up there, too. I forgot about that. Oh. Everyone off! Everyone off! In the poison you go! <laughs> Everyone go! <laughs> yeah, you actually have to do this to... Right, mate, these two are going to be stubborn, aren't you? Yeah, I have to do that to get that moon over there. Alright, and that pipe will lead us back out to the entrance, which I can then, you know, check out that glowy spot above the door. The gusty barrier! Yeah, I can't believe I forgot about that, but... Eh, eh, eh. At least I think... Oh, I thought it was going to automatically poop us out, and yes, you can control the camera in most cutscenes. <laughs> so yeah, you can see how things are going here. Bowser blocked it up with his hatches. The energy of the moon power moon seems to open those barriers, yup! So you gotta get basically the main moon of each of these four chambers. Anyway, back in here. <laughs> because, gotta see, for the sake of seeing. Yeah, I guess. I don't think there was anything else in here, so... At least for now. So I guess we're gonna head on out. And back up to the top. Can I roll up here against the camera? Sure I can. Oh jeez, I didn't mean to... There's three barriers left. Stay motivated. Okay. There shouldn't be too much difficulties because all these are pretty short overall. So I should be able to finish this in the single part. Oh man. Except for the fact that there's a lot of snow. You can wipe out a lot of snow at once by doing cap throws like so. So if you'd like to, you could. But mm -hmm, I don't really think there's much hidden under the snow so much as there is side paths. If I recall correctly. So, well, I mean, yeah, there's, there's obviously this, but <laughs> it's just single coin, but I'm talking about, like, side paths that will actually lead us to real deal secondary moons around here. Probably another cheap, yeah, <laughs> the little coin. This will make a gust of wind, which you can use to get up to layers and layers. Can I double jump up the... Oh, but fine, I'll backflip. There we go. That'll do just fine. And here's a... This is all snow, by the way, <laughs> and watch what happens when you des destroy all of the bottom layer. The whole top layer will actually collapse down like poyos. <laughs> See how jittery it goes down? <laughs> yeah, so you know, just, if you want to clear that out, you can, but not really, not really all that essential or anything like that. This is to get over to the other side, but keep your pe eyes peeled for any sort of like side routes or anything like that, just to, so that you don't miss anything along the way that may or may not be covered by a snowy wall, hint hint. Uh, I think it's actually, isn't it this? Yes. Yes! I could actually probably just walk through this all right. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, there's a moon over here at this corner, behind Snowy Mountain. And that is the secret moon-ish of this area. And that is actually a pretty pretty obscure one because it's it look it really does blend in with the wall pretty pretty well there so do not forget that one oh, I guess I could destroy the ice sculptures yeah sure why not it's just like the Sand Kingdom <laughs> and uh oh oh no oh no <laughs> bet you didn't see that one coming did ya yeah we made it to this thing that we seen on the big screen. Bring it on, whoever's gonna fight me. Oh, 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 we got the cake frost frosted cake! The Bowser boss man sure is fussy about cake. Reckon we got him the best one though. Bring it on, Rango rematch! You know how things go here. Except, he suddenly has got two hats right off the bat. Yeah, his, his attack pattern is going to be different this time, of course. You know, you got a little boss upgrade as you go. And if you need some help, just kick around the rocks and you should be able to get some hearts from them. But I'm just going to kind of kind of do my thing of, you know, trying to be safe. <laughs> Ooh, I'm doing pretty good thus far. There we go. No hits yet. But that could change at any moment with my sloppiness at times, I swear. <laughs> Alright, last hat, Fury. It's on now! Oh, ooh, ooh, oh! Actually got both of them. Okay, that, that works. <laughs> well, it was, that was a sloppy ending, but a successful ending. <laughs> Boop. And you're not dead again, you just disappear. <laughs> 
And that takes care of that. That's moon number two for the gates. Two more to go. So you're like, what the poop? If the snowy mountain barrier was the boss, what are the other sections? Well, they're just kind of more regular sections, I guess. <laughs> and the torches, as you, as you see over there, are kind of like little indicators of which ones you've already done already. Like, they point to the nearby doors and stuff like that. There are four barriers, so you've got two to go. Just two barriers to go. Only two barriers left to keep at it. Oh man, yeah, I shall. Yeah, the dialogue just keeps stacking on as you go. And I'll just continue my clockwise or left to right pathway through here. And oh yeah, the bite frosts are hanging out here. Bite frosts are these shadowy thingies under the ice. They're not as threatening as they look. <laughs> <laughs> you can use them as platforms and stuff like that, so don't don't be scared of the bite frost. They'll, they can be your buddies. You just gotta treat them right. <laughs> oh no, I want those. Okay. Uh, oh no no, too cold, too cold, cold. Yeah, you can you can touch the water for a bit, but not not too long. It's it's a it's a slow cold. <laughs> um, this coin stacks over there. Do I dare? I guess so. It's not like it's a dangerous area or anything like that. By the way, Mario's clothes instantly get frosty when he touches the water. So, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. Ah, <laughs> not really that useful, but anyway. Ah, okay, I got those coin stacks. Now I am satisfied. Ish. Let's continue getting the moon shards. Eee! He knocked me in. He knocked me in. <laughs> this is a silly enemy. But oh, so fun. And one more for the road, and then one will appear like way at the top left of this area. Yeah, way, way, way up there, but don't directly go for that moon without looking for another path that you can grab onto a ledge for. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And I'll start up, anyway, by going up here. I'm getting a little, getting a little ahead of myself here. <laughs> Let's first get ourselves some oops purples. There we go. Go back down here. I don't mind. Just come back on over here. It's a little bit closer. Here. <laughs> see, so the timing is pretty easy. You can see that they just go bloop and grab this ledge. Oh no! I said grab this ledge. I said grab this ledge. Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that works. And up over here is the secret moon, as you might have guessed, as I was hinting at. There we go! Treasure in the ice wall. Now, how, can I get like over to that other moon without having to redo all those jumps? Maybe. Oh yeah! <laughs> moon number three is for me! And will be yours soon enough. Ice wall barrier is done. And let's go. By the way, you might want to come back to these places post game. Intent, intent. But anyway, let's go down the pipe. And number three, one barrier to go. Only one more barrier. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't stop now. Make your queen reference now, anyway. <laughs> So let's do the last one here really quick. Nice short little areas. I like this one the, my, the best. This is the most beautiful area of all of them. The, and it's also the most puzzling. The Icicle Cavern has, well, icicles that fall down wherever you see shadows. There's also Goombas. You can you probably guess what we'll be doing with Goombas here. <laughs> if there's a bunch of Goombas, you can almost be certain that you're gonna stack them. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you could have got those rings by waiting for the ice, but eh, eh, I got them that way. I got... I feel a rumble. I was, oh no, I killed you! I didn't mean to. Oh. Oh. Well, hopefully I'm going to have enough stack. Yeah, I feel a little rumble here. Hmm. I put you somewhere that you won't get in my way right away. Oh jeez, I'm slipping and sliding. Who would have guessed on ice? Oh, it's just, just coins. No, 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 don't knock the Goomba! Don't... Ah! Let's just redo it. <laughs> just, just make sure I have enough of a Goomba stack because I, th I think it actually counts the Goombas uh, that I mean that you need to actually get a secondary moon here. So, yeah, let's just redo this from the top. And by the way, their feet are a lot grippier on ice than your feet. 
Hint, 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 hint. Okay. Oh, it's a, it is a four Goomba stack, so I really did need each and every one of them. So yeah, this is a Goomba switch, and the weight of the number indicates... Well, the weight of the Goombas. And <laughs> voila! And it's about Goomba heights, like, like four Goomba heights, I can just walk right into there. I dodging Goomba stack. I'm gonna keep my stack, though, and see how far I can push it. Just, just for the fun of it. Hey, hey, hey. Fall down, please. Eh, okay, well. Uh, I don't know how far I can get with my Goombas since their jumping ability is kind of subpar. Uh, I think I want to knock around a big icicle from above if I recall correctly, but I'll just keep taking my Goombas for the fun of it all the way up top. Bait this out. Takes a while for that icicle to fall down, so it's pretty safe to do the bait. I thought there was purple coins around here too. I don't remember exactly where they were though. Once I get up, up near the top, I'll get a better view of the area and stuff, so... Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, so I did need a full Kuma stack going on here. Yeah! Well, maybe not that full, but... Okay, there's the purples, and I think we're good to go now. I gotta just gotta ground pound these edges here. At least I... Oh, that's right, the shadows! It's not me ground pounding them, it's them pounding them. So really, I just walk along the edges and just let them fall on their own. And then if you'd like to, I guess you could stand on there immediately and just go down with the icicle elevator. Or not. It's up to you. <laughs> if you'd even like to, I guess you could even re-grab the Goomba stack for kicks. But actually, uh, I don't want to... Oh, well, I was going to say, I don't want to leave here just yet. Because I think there's actually, yeah, a bit more up inside these little areas here. Do, oh, you can actually go up those? I didn't know you could get up that. I thought you were safe because I, your little feet can't walk up such steep inclines or stairs, I should say. Yeah, I think those are the last purple coins and the rest of these are just like bonuses more than anything. Yeah, I think we're good. So we can drop down here and get the moon. The last moon to get that race course open up. The icicle barrier is complete. Woof, and we also got enough moons to get the Odyssey to the next location, I suppose, but, you know, 100%ing and all that. The Bound Bowl Grand Prix is gonna be done in the next part. <laughs> I, mean, that's, I, I think I did a good amount of exploring this part. Four separate routes, getting ourselves into the super secret ice well and stuff like that, so, yeah. That seems good, but let's see what the peeps have to say now. The a cake frost frosted cake got stolen, so for now the racing prize is a moon multi moon. But you're too small to race with us, mustache man. Hmm. We might might have to figure that out. Yeah, in the next part we'll probably be able to figure something out. I'm sure. <laughs> you're welcome, everyone. Enjoy the racetrack all over again. What do you mean I can do it? I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to race around here. Come on now. You, I'm supposed to be all plump. I mean, Mario is sort of plump, but not as plump as you guys, apparently. In, in terms of the requirements to enter this race. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go probably on that little racetrack that you see back there. Exciting, isn't it? But how will we get there? Eh, I don't know.